Hello, good morning. Welcome, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to learn chapter number two, our body part two. <clears throat> Let's start the chapter. Below are a few important activities that ca humans carry out throughout their life. So the, in this picture we can see that a person is working, a boy is working, a person is thinking by looking his uh, computer. Then again, once again we can see that one person is going to the toilet. So these are the activities humans carry out throughout their life. Without this, uh, life is not possible. So, try to match the below internal sets of organs that support the above actions. First picture, we can see a brain. Brain is for thinking. So, uh, in the middle picture, we can see that a person is thinking with the help of brain. Then, uh, another one we can see uh, uh, some internal organs that is anus and as well as kidney. So these are the things that purify uh, bloods or uh, leave unwanted uh, non-digested food from the body. And another uh, picture we can see a skeletal is working. So for this uh, our whole body is used. Let's start after this. What are the things we are going to learn about this? Let's read. You know that the human's body has 10 major organ systems. Of course, you have studied three important systems. These are respiratory system, digestive system and circulatory system. Here, let us study three more important the skeletal system, the nervous system, and the excretory system. So, three uh, human body have already we have learned that human body has ten more uh, ten major organs in previous chapter. So, in this chapter, we are going to learn and pre uh, in previous chapter we have learned ten major organs in those. From those we have learned about respiratory system, digestive system as well as circulatory. But in this chapter we are going to learn about nervous system and uh, excretory system as well as skeletal system. So let's start the chapter. First one, skeletal system. What is skeletal? Skeletal means uh, in this picture we can see different uh, body parts of a human being means it's a bone bones and uh, different bones are co together called a skeletal system we have skull mandita and mandy bull carvical vertebrae thoraki vertebrae lumbar all this so let's learn the skeletal system is made up of a framework of bones without the skeleton the body would be a mess of flesh so we came to know uh, that uh, without uh, bones our body will be mass of flesh so it cannot stand properly so with the help of skeletal uh, on skeletal only our body moves or stands the skeletal system gives shape to the body. So, uh, we know that our bo uh, body has a lot of uh, bones in hand, in legs, in stomach and uh, also on our head. Everywhere we see a lot of bones. So, this uh, skeletal system gives shape to the body. Next one, the skeletal system protects all the internal organs of the body. Suppose if we fall down, so when we fall, our skeletal system uh, <coughs> saves from different kinds of injuries to the, to the internal parts or internal organs like kidney, uh, heart, lungs, etc. 
the bones with the help of muscles help the body to move so the bones there are lot many bones like in the legs or in our hand or uh, in our back everywhere there are lot of bones so these bones help the muscle to move to one place to another so interesting fact the human baby is born with 300 bones in its body wow this is an interesting fact but an adult has only 206 bones this is because many of the bones join together to make a single bone later so interesting fact is that a small baby which is uh, just born has uh, 300 bones but when a uh, a baby grows into adult that man has or that adult has 206 it's only because those extra uh, 94 extra 94 bones are joined together to make one bone next one brain teacher this is for you bones make up our skeletal system do you know which is the longest and strongest bone in the human body also find out with the help of the internet which is the smallest bone your work is that you have to find out which is the strongest bone in our body and also smallest bone in our body it's your work okay so here next one nervous system in this picture there are a lot of nerves uh, it is connected with brain so nerve has brain spinal cord and nerve these are together so let's learn about nerve nervous system the nervous system comprises the brain the spinal cord and the nerve cells so a nervous system is together they have three parts the brain spinal cord and uh, nerve cells so how do these things work let's learn about that all our functions are controlled by the brain through nerves the nerves are present all over the body we are able to write read talk and remember because of our nervous nervous system so here all all the functions hand fingers toes uh, stomach heart all these things are controlled by our brain so with uh, this how do this brain work so the nerves are present all over the body so uh, whenever we want to write the brain sends message to our fingers that you should write so that we are able to write and eyes uh, also same way to read and the, to remember everything all those uh, because of information sent by nerves to the brain next one nerves carry messages from the different parts of the body to the brain and from the brain to the different parts of the body so nerves are like messengers for example nerves carry, uh, nerves carry different information like suppose uh, if you touch some cold things with your skin then automatically the skin sends message to the body what did i touch then body tells uh, the brain uh, to the brain and brain tells you that oh you touched cold it is it should not be touched by you so uh, automatically it uh, gives warning to your uh, skin then again suppose you you are going to touch some hot uh, fire so automatically your brain sends to your uh, a message to your uh, different body parts that you should not touch that fire it may hurt you so nerves work like messengers so, uh, again one more brain teaser nerves carry messages but do you know the speed with which messages travel from different parts of the body to the brain so you have to search these questions answer in internet excretory system so 
what is excretory system we are going to learn about that so excretion means to remove waste from the body so there is a lot of waste used to be there in our body suppose when we eat food so that uh, the things uh, which one is digested all those things are used by body but there is also non digested mean undigested food in our body that is removed by some part of the our body that is called anus so excretion also means the uh, removing lot of waste from our body the excretory system helps our body to get rid of waste uh, if waste is not removed then we may feel sick or, or we may fall sick the main organ of the excretory system are the kidneys yes this is the thing uh, i wanted to tell you that main organ that is uh, excretory system in our body is kidneys the kidneys clean the blood by removing the waste from it so the waste system is uh, removed by the uh, kidney in uh, from our blood then this waste is passed out out by the body as urine so the whatever uh, dirt or waste is removed by our body is called urine so the important thing is that blood the pure blood is again again it goes to our heart then goes to different parts of our body then the wastest thing comes out of our body as urine then the waste is passed out of the body as urine lungs and skin also help in excretion the impure air that we breathe out in taken out of the body through the lungs extra water and salt are removed by the skin in the form of sweat so lungs also uh, help in uh, excreting all those excretion help in excretion so when we um, breathe the, um, everything is cleaned by our impure uh, air is cleaned by our this one uh, body part lungs and also taken out through the nose and extra water whatever is there or salt is there in our body that is that comes out from the body as sweat science lab activity so here you have some activity you can do at home do you know how our kidneys filter the impurities found in our blood blood materials you required crushed chalk powder two bowls of breakers breakers water and a few drops of food color a filter paper and a funnel all these things you you will find out in markets how to do take one spoon a spoonful of crushed chalk and dissolve in it in a bowl or baker half filled with water add a few drops of food color if possible take the funnel and fix the filter paper inside it then take another bowl or baker and place the funnel on it imagine the water with chalk powder and food color as impure blood and the filter paper as the kidneys now pour the water through the filter paper into the second bowl you can observe how chalk powder gets trapped on the filter as the colored water drips into the second bowl as purified blood this is the thing you can do at home you can collect something uh, like chalk powder two bowls a baker water a few drops of food color also pep, filter paper all these things you can collect and do at home it's your activity then again uh, interesting fact the kidneys work just as hard as any organ in our body can you imagine how hard in the course of just one day your blood will pass through your kidneys and average of 300 times your our blood 
goes through the kidneys 300 times same blood and whenever it goes it cleans the impurities and the pure blood come to the heart and uh, all the waste things as water or as urine comes out of out of our body then let's recall this chapter recalling is most important things when we learn a chapter again we have to recall then only we are going to remember all those things whatever we have learned in this chapter so first one the skeletal system is made up of frameworks or bones like for example uh, bones in hands bones in legs bones in uh, back bones in head everywhere we have bone we have 206 bones in an adult human body there are 600 or 206 bones but a newborn baby has 300 bones this is a very interesting fact you have to keep in mind next one the skeletal system gives shape to the body protects all the internal organs of the body and helps the body to move so skeletal is the main thing that gives shape to the body we have shape of a body suppose we have back we have legs we have uh, neck it's only because of uh, this one skeletal system so uh, skeletal system also protects our body or internal organs from getting in injuries when we fall down or something something stacks on our body the nervous system comprises the brain the spinal cord and the nerve cells so uh, in nervous system has three things brain spinal cord and nerve cells these are the things which help to carry messages to different parts of our body then all our functions are controlled by the brain through nerves so example uh, where i have given already example that all the things all the whatever is happening or uh, suppose we are talking we are reading we are writing all these things are controlled by our brain nerves carry messages from the different parts of the body to the brain and from the brain to the different parts of the body so nerves only the things carry different information from the different parts of the body to brain and also from the brain and it is a very fast thing where uh, it have it all this happen the sending messages and carrying messages messages to different parts of the body all these happen in millisecond means you cannot think about that that fast it have it this all happen the excretory system helps our body to get rid of waste and its main organs are the kidneys so excretory systems main organ is kidney it purifies blood and wastes things are uh, coming out of our body as urine and also lungs are excretory systems part and also the salt and extra water comes out of our body as sweat the waste is passed out of the body as urine so the waste whatever waste is uh, cleaned by our kidneys those all uh, waste is ca coming out from our body as urine so these are the things we have learned we have learned in this chapter as part two of chapter number two uh, body parts so you read these chapters whatever works i have given you try to do that and try to read underline all the difficult words then only you, you will going you are going to learn more thank you